This video is to highlight some of the enhancements within the Visi 2016 R1 release. This video is going to concentrate on the mold cooling function. Let's start by opening the cooling interface. So if we come to the mold tab, select cooling. First thing you'll notice is an update of the icons at the top of the menu. So if we add a group and now start adding some cooling channels, so we'll pick a direction which will automatically orientate the part. We pick a start point but if we're using enhanced pick we can take advantage of some of the other additions that have been added to this release so we can start putting reference points and start cooling channels from uh, theoretical positions. When a cooling channel is created we now get the option to automatically add cooling fittings. These icons here activate this option so when we confirm the creation of a uh, cooling channel the interface has also been updated in this area as you can see so the selection of standard fittings is, is much simpler. I can come in, alter the size, insert the uh, fitting into the plate, accept that option. If I put on another cooling circuit coming in from the bottom of the plate now, I've also turned off the option to automatically add a water fitting. If I just come up through the bottom of the plate into the insert, I'll say no I don't want to make it through so it automatically detects if it's close to the end of a plate. And You can see it automatically adds each channel into the interface. I'm now going to mirror and copy these uh, cooling channels that I've created. So if I select mirror, another additional change you'll see is an icon's shown to the user to just to highlight that you're not only selecting the cooling channel but also the automatically selecting the the cooling fitting and the wireframe element is also copied. As you can see, you only select one feature and it selects everything related to the actual cooling circuit. If I come into the interface each part of the circuit is automatically copied and duplicated inside the actual uh, cooling interface. After copying a water channel that has a water fitting assigned we can independently change the copied water channel fittings um, so we can manage these all independently. Also if I select multiple channels within the cooling interface I can then go and add a standard uh, element or a water fitting to each of the uh, water channels that I have selected within the tree. So in this in instance I'll just add some water uh, O seals. Finally on this example if I add a final uh, cooling channel through the insert and from the icons here what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a standard fitting on both ends. So I'll make the cooling channel go right the way through the insert so it's open at both ends. It automatically gives me the interface to select a water fitting and if I add a water plug you'll see that both the open ends have automatically had a water plug added to both ends. On this next example I just want to highlight the fact that all the cooling channels I've created are independent solids. This makes it easy for us to be able to adjust the sizes and positions. So at the moment they're not subtracted from the rest of the model bodies. But if I come and tell the system to subtract all the cooling circuit, it's subtracted from the rest of the bodies. But now I just want to highlight the fact that even by subtracting the, uh, the cooling circuit from the rest of the body, I can still modify uh, the sizes, positions. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit of housekeeping within the cooling interface. So I'm going to add another group. I'm going to go and change the names for these groups just for other users. So if I call one, the actual bolster plate, which is the main large plate, and the second group for the cavity plate. And because all the cooling channels are, are in one group, I'm just going to drag and drop some of the cooling holes from the one group to the second one just to 
highlight that they're in a different model as you can see so you can do all this housekeeping after the cavities have been subtracted and if we want to make any model changes like in this area here we can come into the interface make the cooling holes solid again by solidifying them and then once this has been done I can close the interface it is just model geometry now that I can use normal modeling functions on to be able to manipulate the position so if I just come in you'll see it's also selecting the O seal and if I move the position of this and accept the position now of course this cross drilling does not come deep enough so if I come back into the cooling interface solidify this option and within the cooling interface in here if I just change the depth value or the length value so it meets the vertical drilling and now finally just to finish off if I again subtract the drilled holes uh, for the cooling circuit that have been modified and all the cavities have now been subtracted uh, from the rest of the model geometry. All the created cooling channels are linked to the plates that they lie within. I'm now going to break that link and just show you how to recover it again. So if I solidify the cooling channels and then actually delete the solid you can see the cooling channels are still visible but there will be an icon within the cooling interface to show you that the link has been lost between the cooling channel and the solid body that it lies within. So if I just add in another solid, if I just change the attribute just so you can see through the part. So if I come back to the cooling interface again, right click on the eye on the channels set them back to being defined now when I solidify them again it asks me to pick a solid model so you can see I picked a solid it rebuilds them and everything's linked again and I'll just finish off by subtracting the, the cavities from the new plate that I've generated In this example, I'm going to break the link again, but this time without solidifying the cooling channels from the uh, interface. So as you can see, the plate's been deleted. If I open the cooling interface, it tells me that the link has been lost. But this time, I need to change my procedure. So if I try and solidify the cooling channel, the system tells me that this is not possible. It's not linked to a plate. So I need to highlight the channels again but this time unlink them which removes them from the group within the cooling circuit so now you can see there's still a, a line element but no actual solid uh, drilled hole is generated so if I come in and regenerate a plate again change the transparency so you can see what I'm doing and this time if I say add a selected channel come in and if I select the line elements that have been left behind, it adds them and links them to the plate that I've remodeled. And if I solidify them, it creates the model geometry, but the standard elements are not linked. So if I activate the edit elements function and select the water fittings, and ask the system to rebuild it, it rebuilds the cavity elements of the model and now I can simply subtract the cavity elements which add the holes to the new plate that I've just remodeled and the link has been re-established. My final couple of examples is just to show you how we can use the cooling channels with multi-instances and solid groups. So if I create a copy of this, insert with its cooling system select the multi-instance option in fact what we'll do is we'll create a couple of copies you can see it copies all the, uh, the cooling circuit with it if 
I come into the cooling interface and I select one of the elements I can solidify that particular option or part of the channel should I say and now if I just adjust this so if I adjust the position And it's not copied to the instances until the cavity element is subtracted. And you can see it updates the two copied uh, tooling inserts. And finally, if we look at how to do this same kind of management but using solid groups, if we come to the solid group manager, create a solid group of the insert and the cooling circuit within it. I'll give this a name you can see it creates an entry inside the manager and if I come in create a copy of this insert this is not an instance so I'll make sure I select the actual solid group icon so it copies the whole group Now if I open the cooling interface, I'll tell the system to change these back to definable channels. And again if I come back to the modeling interface, simply select, again turn off the group option because I want to select an individual channel and if I translate that you can see it moves the cooling channel and the standard element or the cooling fitting on every um, linked uh, circuit in the group so if I re-solidify those they automatically get subtracted you can see the two groups have been copied automatically. Thank you for your attention.